Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be giving a quick breakdown of the main helmets in Escape from Tarkov. There are a lot of choices when it comes to helmets and armor in Tarkov, and it can be tough to figure out what you should pay for, what you should sell, and what is worth using if you happen to have it sitting around. The goal of this video is to provide a quick summary of the main lineup of helmets in the game, and hopefully give you a sense of what is worth using without spending 30 minutes talking about the penetration calculations. This information is coming from the end of patch 11.7, and I plan on updating the video soon after .12 drops to note any changes or additions to the game. To start with, the first class of useful helmets in the game are going to be the level 3 helmets. Anything under this class is really not worth using. Level 3 armor will stop nearly all pistol rounds and shotgun shells, and it will provide some protection from really basic rifle rounds. These helmets are pretty effective against scavs and lower geared players, but they'll quickly be defeated by anyone with remotely good ammo. They're the first helmets that give you access to useful face shields and night vision mounts, and are generally the most common helmets in the game. The Steel Pot is the cheapest level 3 helmet in the game, and it's available from level 1 Ragman for 18,000 rubles. It's a good choice for budget runs, and in the early wipe when it is the only option you have. The 6B47 is one of the most common helmets you'll see in the game, and it's available from level 2 Ragman for 33,000 rubles, or from level 1 Ragman for 2 Ox Bleach. It's the first helmet you can get with night vision mounts, and it works with Comtax. It's a good choice for general usage, and it's not crazy expensive. The LZSH helmet is available from Ragman level 2 for 54,000 rubles. It's essentially a level 3 version of the Fast MT helmet and it fits most accessories from the Fast helmet. Consider using it if you pick it up, but don't blow too many rubles on buying it. The Kiver M helmet is available from level 2 Ragman for 34,000 rubles, with a face shield also at level 2 for 22,000 rubles. This is the first helmet you can unlock that offers full face level 3 armor, and it's a good choice for CQB situations in the early stages of a wipe. The Sphera S, or the Diaper Helmet as it's affectionately known, is available from level 2 Ragman for 83,000 rubles. It covers most of the head and it has a really high durability for a level 3 helmet, but it's extremely overpriced at the 83,000 rubles for the protection that it actually offers, and it doesn't fit any contacts or face shields. For my top recommendations on a level 3 helmet, the 6B47 is the best for general usage and for its versatility. The Steel Pot's a good choice when you're on a budget, and the Kiver can be quite useful against lower geared players, but generally only in the early stages of a wipe. The next tier of helmets are the level 4 armor, which is the first class that is really effective in PvP as they have a chance to stop some armor piercing ammo such as 5.45 BP and BT and the 5.56 M856 round. There's a versatile selection of helmets in this class, but most of them are double the price of level 3 helmets and can take some time to unlock from traders. There's several options for face protection and in my opinion these are the most useful class of helmets. The Striker ULACH helmet is available from level 4 Ragman, ranging in price from 67,000 to 85,000 rubles. It protects your top, nape, and ears, does fit with Comtax, and it also reduces your hearing when you wear it. It's a great all-purpose level 4 helmet, and it can be acquired on the cheap if you buy the tan version or check the flea market. The Striker ACHHC is available at level 3 Ragman for 57 to 60,000 rubles. It's the same as the ULACH, but has cutouts for the ears. It doesn't reduce your hearing, which can be useful if you don't feel like wearing contacts, but it also doesn't protect the ears. The ZSH helmet is available from level 3 Ragman for 41 to 63,000 rubles, with a face shield also at level 3 for 14,000 rubles. It gives you full level 4 armor around your head with a level 3 face shield at a very modest price point. If you complete Chemical Part 4 and hand it into Skier, it gives you a black version at a 33% discount, making it a straight upgrade over the Kiver M helmet at the same price. The OpsCore Fast MT helmet is available from level 3 Ragman for 108,000 rubles or from Peacekeeper level 4 for $1,063. The helmet allows for side armor, face coverage, night vision, and contacts in various combinations, but the face armor is kind of overpriced for what it offers. The slap plate attachment can turn this helmet into level 5, but it costs about $1,000 and is extremely hard to unlock. The Cry Airframe is available from level 4 Peacekeeper for $1,294 and is basically a better fast helmet. The chops are better than the fast armor and can be used with the face shield for two layers of level 3 armor over your face. Comtax can also be used with the face armor unlike the fast MT helmet. 
For the top level 4 helmets, I rate the Striker ULACH as the best for general usage, especially if you like to run contacts. The ZSH offers solid full face protection at a very good price point, and in my opinion, I would take a Cry airframe over a Fast MT unless it has a slap plate. There are only a few level 5 or higher helmets available in Escape from Tarkov, and they are generally the most expensive and protective helmets in the game. Level 5 armor stops everything except the highest penetration ammo. There's a low chance for these helmets to stop M995 and BS rounds, as well as certain Mosin rounds, but 7N39, Igolnik, and M61 will go right through. Each of these helmets has a face shield, and their protection comes with high sound and vision reduction. If you have the cash, these are great PvP helmets, but keep in mind they will be easily defeated by players running top-end ammo. The Alton Helmet is available from level 4 Ragman for 176,000 rubles, and the shield will run you 4 plexiglass or 6 dog tags for a trade. It's the only helmet in Escape from Tarkov that offers full level 5 protection around your head, and it has high durability, good repair rate, and a decent visor compared to the other competitor. The Maska Helmet is available at level 3 Ragman, for a trade of three 3M armor vests, with the shield running about 50,000 rubles on the flea market. It can also be easily found by dropping the scav boss Killa in Interchange, which is where most players will get it from. The helmet itself is only level 4, which is kind of a drawback, but the face shield is full level 6 armor, which means it will eat M995 and BS rounds. The Vulcan Helmet is one of the newest additions to Tarkov, and it's sold by level 4 Ragman for a hefty 291,000 rubles, with a 200,000 ruble face shield on top of that. It's a reverse of the Killa Helmet, giving you level 6 head armor and a level 4 face shield. It has pretty good vision, and level 6 head armor is quite strong, but 500,000 rubles for a helmet is extremely overpriced in my opinion. For my top pick in the level 5 and higher category, my suggestion is the Alton. It offers a balance of level 5 protection around the whole head, rather than a combination of 4 and 6, and to me the visor is much more comfortable to use than the Masca. It also comes in at around a third of the price of the Vulcan, which is much better in my opinion. Now if you're wondering why certain helmets in the game uh, were just left out of this lineup, it's because they're simply not worth using except to have a laugh or if required by a quest. The DevTac Ronin mask looks really cool and offers full level 3 armor around your head with no vision loss, but it's absurdly overpriced at like 150,000 or more rubles. The Kolpak and the other Riot helmet are both level 2 armor, making them pretty much useless and their face shield is also level 2. The UN helmet is statistically the same as the 6B47, but it's painted bright blue and it's going to give you away really easily. I don't buy this or use it unless it's required by a quest or it's really early in the wipe and I'm just too broke for anything else. To end the video, I want to give my picks for the most useful helmets in Tarkov. The Striker ULACH is definitely the best general purpose helmet in my opinion. It gives you decent coverage, it's level 4 armor, and it's pretty easy to acquire except for the level 4 trader unlock. The Cry Airframe I think is the best advanced helmet as the chops are better than the side armor on the fast, and it can be used with basically two face shields and contacts at the same time. It's definitely the best helmet for night vision raids as well. The Alton is in my opinion the best juggernaut helmet due to the fully enclosed level 5 armor and the balance between decent vision and protection. Some players might prefer the level 6 alternatives, but I find the Masca hard to use and the Vulcan just too expensive. For a budget CQB helmet, I don't think you can go wrong with the black ZSH and a face shield. For 55,000 rubles, you're basically unkillable by headshots from pistols, shotguns, and some rifle rounds, and it's a great addition to any factory run. For a budget general purpose helmet, the 6B47 is your friend. It's unbelievably common as a drop from players and scavs, and it's easily acquired from Ragman as well. It has night vision mounts, and you can use contacts, it's pretty versatile, and it gives you some concealment with the camouflage version. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it helpful and feel free to make any suggestions, corrections, or comments down below. I plan on making a similar video covering armor vests and maybe one on ammo types, so stay tuned to the channel for those if you're interested. And drop by at twitch.tv slash jdogthewise to check out some raids. I'll put the link in the description. I'm going to play a few clips of some factory gameplay to close the video out, so until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City.
fuck it. Let me There's one in. There's two. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna tell the truth. 